with programs like Rhino, Revit, or 3D Studio Max, cross sections can be done with just a click, however in Blender, we need to do it manually, so in this video, I will teach you how to do cross sections in three simple ways using Blender, and for me the last method is the best one so make sure to see them to the end. The first method is done using coordinate node, and I will split the work window to show both the viewport and the material nodes, we will start by adding a material with any solid representing like the BSDF or a diffuse color, then mixing it with a transparent node, and the aim here is to make part of the mesh disappear using the transparent. By now the transparent and the solid BSDF are both applied on the mesh, that's why you can see through it, and to control those two, we need to have an input in the mix factor to tell it where the transparent starts. We also need an object, usually an empty, to manually control the cut area by moving it around, so add any empty on the scene. Back to the node tree, take the factor input and add to it a texture coordinate. Make the coordinate on object and assign in it the empty. By now you should notice some cutting happening. We can also control in which axis we cut, and for that we need an XYZ separate node. Let's make it on the Z. Lastly we need a math node, and plug it before the factor. With the math node we can put it on maximum, less than, or greater than, and that will give us the same result from different cutting sides. The Z plug should go into the threshold. Then make the value on zero for sharp cutting. With that's been done, we can now move the empty up and down to start cutting the mesh and make sections on it. You can after that change the math node type or the axis you cutting on for different cutting area. Though with cycles sometimes and with not so clean meshes like this one, you might see black areas or artifacts making some places darker than it should. This same method works on Evi and you just need to check the transparency on both the render settings and the alpha clip in the material. The second method we have is camera clipping with some node fix, and we will see why we need the fix in a minute. Now usually we can use the camera clip value to cut through any mesh and see inside it. You also need to put the camera on orthographic mode for better proportions on sections and elevations to not get them in a perspective view. We can turn on the show limit option to see from where the camera start clipping and that will appear as a yellow line in the viewport. Now by cutting the mesh with the camera what happens is, the camera see through the cut inside the mesh, however Blender especially the light system from the sky to the sun still bounce on the original mesh, and you can see the solid view showing the mesh uncut, to fix this, we will use a similar method to the last one, so like before, let's add a material and mix the principle with a transparent BSDF, then in the mix factor input. We will add a node called camera data, from the last node connect the Z depth to the factor input in the mix. We also need a math node, place it right before the mix, and put it on less than, the Z depth will go to the threshold by now, and the value should be equal to the camera clipping number, so let's match those two and see the result. What this did is telling Blender that the camera cutting area should be transparent. This will enhance the look inside, still you can further brighten it using the exposure value in the color management. The last method we have is by far the best one in work and control, and it's done using boolean. To start with it we need a cutting object, so let's add a cube or any other type of mesh. And we don't need to see it so make the viewport display on bounds or wire type, just to see through it. Now let's move it aside, then with the main mesh selected, add a boolean modifier, put it on fast, and assign the cube as a cutting object. And that's it, no adjust, no nodes, no black artifacts works with both heavy and cycles, and you can manage it in any way or shape you like in making the cross sections. And that's it, 
subscribe to the channel to see more videos around 3D and architecture, and see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.